Pixel Defenders Puzzle is a fun new matching game with RPG elements and old school graphics and sounds. Stay tuned for more. I'm Zach Scott. This is Quick Play. What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pixel Defenders Puzzle, a game for the iOS. I'm playing it on my iPad, but uh, it's made by uh, Social Titans, and it's only 99 cents right now in the App Store, and I decided to play it. It's really cool. It's a match three uh, puzzle type game with RPG elements, and I'm just going to dive right in and show you. You're going to play like four levels and show you guys what it's all about, and uh, it has old school stylings. It's, you know, pixel art. The music's awesome. Let's just dive right in and play it. Of course, I'm not going to be playing this whole game on my channel unless you guys really want me to. If, if half of you uh, like this video, then I will play this whole game on my channel. But um, uh, it is a fun game. I like it. I'll do that. I don't know that you guys want to see that, but we're going to do a quick play of it right now. Let's dive right in. I've done the first eight stages. We're gonna. I'm going to take you through the first four or five, depending on how much time we have. But basically, I'll show you what this game is all about. Already the music's kicking in. I like the music. Uh, basically, enemies come in waves. This particular the first stage has one wave. And um, the goal is to pre protect a person. In this case, it's a princess. And you have pixels to, you know, pixels in your inventory, basically. They're, they pop up each time. Each, ra each round, a pixel pops up. This is a green pixel. There are blue ones here. The level said we're going to get green and blue. So what we got to do is we got to match three pixels to form a defender. And basically, you know, just it's as simple as putting them down. This is blue. I'll put it down here. This is green. Put it here. We're getting ready to match three right now. Boom! There we go. And I got one of these guys. And see, uh, up at the top, you see this guy moving down. Well, each turn I make, he moves down more and more. And so, going with this, I'm going to put a blue there. A green. Blue. And then I'm going to put a green right here. And what you're going to see is it's going to make another one of these green archer guys. But since there's three green archer guys... Uh, in, in a formation, it's going to give me a stronger character. So that's how you upgrade your characters. So boom, and then look at this guy. You click on him. It's a uh, highwayman, and uh, he, you can perform actions with each of these guys to attack the enemies coming through the waves. And basically, if you look at the bottom here, this guy fires two consecutive shots, causing half damage per shot. I don't know why he fires two, but that's what he does. And uh, I'm not, I'm, I don't actually want to do this yet because this guy's from wave, from the wave, isn't down here yet. So I'm going to keep playing. Keep putting greens down because I just got some greens. Yeah, that looks good. Now this one's actually flat out giving me a wizard guy, so I'll just put him. Uh, I'll just put him here, and then boom, the wizard guy turned into another wizard guy, <laughs> sorcerer. There we go. He causes a full damage with a higher than usual critical hit rate. And basically, each time I make an action, I get more action points here at the bottom. Look, I'll put this put this pixel here. Boom. See, like plus three action points. And I think that's pretty cool. Put that there. Uh, put that there. Put that there, there, boom. So, hopefully you guys can see what's going on exactly. Boom, boom, there's another one. My goal is to eventually get, you know, a, you know three more of these guys. Uh, this is just the person I'm defending, it's the princess. These guys are attacking, and each time I move, like this guy's at 19. Look, I'll, I'll show you really quick what I mean. Uh, each time I move, uh, let's see, boom, boom. You see, like, he's 19, 7, 18, 17, like that. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. And now this is a void. Void, I can get rid of an object. Like, I don't like this rock here. Get rid of it. Boom. Gotten rid of. Uh, there's, and it wants me to place a rock, so I'll just place it there. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you guys get what's going on here. And uh, it's time to start attacking these guys, because I have some action points. I have three full action points. So what we're going to do here is, uh, basically, I'm going to highlight one of these guys. He's going to take him out one hit action boom select him yes boom he's dead so don't feel guilt boom and I need one more of these guys to make an even stronger guy and now here's something really cool this is a megapixel I'm gonna put it here drop it here and it, it, it acts as a wild card it gave me this crazy guy this guy does one and a half damage and forces the next unit issued to be an obstacle so Basically what we're dealing with here uh, is, do I want to do an action? Yeah, I have action points. Let's do it. These guys are easy, uh, but let's just go ahead and, uh, is it trying to issue issue that to me? Should we put it down there? Whatever. <laughs> uh, we still have some moves left. And of course, I can do this quickly or slowly, whatever we want to do, but I can just, let's see this guy. Action. Take him out right now. Whatever. Boom, boom. He's dead. 
You know, we can go ahead and kill this guy right now, but I kind of want to see what the next one up from this is. So just put that down. We're just going to... Okay, here we go. There we go. And we one, two, three. Boom! Look at this guy. This is heavy shot. He, I mean, a musketeer. His power is heavy shot. Yeah, that's all he has. And it uh, causes one and a half damage plus a stun. So let's just go ahead and use him on here. Finish this round off. Hopefully you guys see what this game's all about. Victory, nice. Three starred everything. Got no stock items. I'll show you what stock items are in just a second, next level. This game is only 99 cents, and the cool thing about games in the App Store for iOS is that when they're cheap, it's great, because I used to, as a kid, go to the arcade and blow like five to 10 bucks in one day just playing a bunch of different games, and I never got to take those games with me. Now I can blow like five or 10 bucks on the App Store and have like a ton of games that I get to keep forever. And so games like this that have DLC don't actually bother me because it's just like, like oh, I could spend some more money to upgrade a little bit, but it's only like a little bit of money, whereas I used to just, you know, spend a ton of money in the arcade. So anyway, that's my stance on the whole DLC issue and the whole app, you know, how cheap games are. It's just so cool. Now this we have yellow and black pixels, and I'm defending the uh, prints this time. So I'm obviously not going to be as motivated. <laughs> but if you look in the store here, you know, I have some things that are stocked that I win. Uh, you know throughout the game, you know, like maybe I want to have an immediate action point I'll just go ahead and cash in on one of these action points and maybe I want to get an obstacle to get to help me get rid of obstacles Maybe I want a megapixel to help out or I can go to the shop and uh, I can buy like You know some stuff here for a dollar and some more stuff for two some more stuff for four Or I can just buy ten megapixels for a dollar as well uh, Not a big deal. Uh, not a big deal to me. So we have some black pixels here I, I kind of want to start laying these out this is an obstacle. I'll just put it here. There we go. Get it out of the way. And we're dealing with black megapixels. It makes this guy, who is a necromancer, causes just half a damage. Not a big deal. Black, black, black. Another necromancer. Black, black. Oh, this guy is... Let me put him over here. Let's start getting yellow stuff over here. And yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow. There we go. Making this guy the Viking. Okay, so he has an increased critical hit stuff too. This guy still have 25 turns before he even does anything. And you can actually look at these enemies right here. And let's see what he's going to do. He, he basically causes half damage. And so what these guys do, I never let you guys see this because I won like hard last round. These guys up at the top actually will attack the uh, or the person we're guarding. So we're building defenders to guard this guy. And uh, But if he, you know, in 25 rounds, if he doesn't get killed, he's going to attack this guy. But I think I can stop him. So anyway, what are we doing here? Uh, this is a megapixel. This is cool. I'm going to use the megapixel on the uh, on this guy to make a vampire. So he's really strong. 60% chance to in, uh, to uh, to inflict plus turn count. Turn count increases by three to six. But you know, we have some action points. So let's just go ahead and kill him off right now. Boom. Die. Ka! Wave defeated. So second wave's coming through. Now we can start building some more stuff and, uh, you know, just kind of having fun. Uh, it wants me to place a rock. A void. I don't really want to use a void right now, but I guess maybe I'll use it right here just because. Get, goodbye. There we go. And so you, hopefully you can see what's going on here. Like, the third spot where I place one of these uh, pixels is where the guy forms. So that's really helpful to know. Uh, and then this guy is freaking running around like crazy. Uh, he's gonna be stuck there. Boom. Okay, got another one of these. There we go. He's really moving all sorts of annoying ways. And what else we got? Okay, so we have two guys up here. You know, within 13 turns, one of them will attack. Let me just show you what happens when one attacks. Why not? Let's start placing some of these blocks. Boom, vampire. Oh, and there's a, there's a goblin coming down. Uh, ooh. Get ready, he's gonna attack in two turns. 
There he goes. Boom! Oh, he missed. See, see how crappy that was anyway? I combined all those guys suddenly, and now I have this crazy powerful guy that does one and a half damage plus Nightmare for eight turns. And uh, basically, Nightmare means his turn count will not decrease for duration of Nightmare or until hit. So, uh, let's just... This is one and a half. Oh, what the hell. Let's just use him here. Boom. Nightmare. Boom. So, yeah, he has, he's been Nightmared. And really, I have enough action points to go ahead and take these guys out. So let's just finish it for this round. This guy, see half a damage. Yeah, let's just attack this guy half a damage. There we go. Boom. And this guy, I believe, deals a full damage there. So go ahead and get him. And then this guy, action. So hopefully you can see. I should have looked at that goblin guy and see what he does to people. But anyway, victory. There we go. I think I have one more mechanic to show you, really, in, in part of this game. Let's go into the third level here. Uh, there's a hold block. Okay, so I got it. There's going to be like three waves of different people. Got a protected princess. Only got one color to deal with, so that's a little bit easier, actually. Because, all right. So let's see what we're dealing with. See this hold block? I can actually keep a pixel there, who like just in case. You know, if I w if I want to use that later, I can swap it out for something. You know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Boom. This is a void. Now would be a good time to get rid of something. There we go. Boom. Boom. Gotta. What does this guy do? All right. Oh, critical hit if target has full health. That's cool. So I'll probably use that very soon. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Boom, boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Oh, frick. Okay, I put a rock there. I didn't mean to. Let me actually use my void on it right now. There we go. Got another ninja. That was kind of crazy. Oh, man. Okay, I really wanted to drop it there, but now I see that I'm... Okay, so I have two ninjas. I'm trying to place this guy. I wanted to put this guy here. But that was going to cause a problem. Let's put him there anyway. Oh, crap. I, I'm not paying attention. I keep putting down rocks. There we go. There's another ninja. Man, I'm spacing these guys out. That's not good. I need to have all these guys here. Whatever. Okay. I'm not doing too great bridging the gap here, but ninja attack. We got a goblin. Boom. I wish it were going to be critical, but it's not. Let's uh, go ahead and attack. And see, here's what happens when... So, I don't know if you noticed this, but see how this guy has two dots, but now he just has one? That's how many actions he has left. When I attack right here, he's actually going to die and turn into a rock, basically. There we go. But I killed that guy, and uh, I got one more full action point. Might as well just take this guy out really quick. Boom. All right. Void. Let's use the void here. There we go. And uh, I got a new action point, so let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. And then we'll be done with wave one. So hopefully you guys can see what makes this game kind of fun and addicting. Uh, I really enjoy it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy how addicting this is. Let me just go ahead and finish this stage in the next and then we'll call it a, a day for the day's video. Uh, hopefully you have been enjoying the quick play series. Uh, man, see I'm, I'm running out of spaces to put obstacles and stuff. Boom. There's an eyeball. Let's find out what this eyeball does. Causes uh, one and a half damage plus no move chance. Chance for target to move each turn is decreased by 35%. It's crazy. Okay. Let's see what we're going to do here. Boom. That's an assassin. It's hilarious how all assassins now look like assassins from Assassin's Creed. But there we go. Yeah, he inflicts poison. So let's see what, let's actually do this. Action, let's poison this guy. I'm curious. Poisoned. So each move he's gonna learn, lose some health, basically, is what's gonna happen. And that's okay with me. The assassin's in the way, whatever. Uh, let's just keep moving then. So you took some poison damage just then. There we go. He's still taking damage. He might actually flat out die. One can hope. I oh, know the poison effect's gone now. So what do we want to do? Let's just uh, 
Let's attack this guy. Mainly because of the crit. Uh, I wasn't able to get a critical hit. And then let's attack this guy. There we go. We're going to finish out wave two pretty quick. He's dead. Uh, replaced with this tree stump. Okay, so... Uh, oh, What's he do? Poison. Uh, I'm out of action points. So basically... You know, I could, I could, I could, just for illustration, I can show you, I have an action point banked. There we go. Activate it. There we go. Now I can take this, use it. And these, those little things that you see in the shop right there, I mean, the ones that are, the ones that are banked, the stocked section, these are, these are things that you just gain throughout normal play. So, you know, you're, you're going to get those throughout normal play. You're going to be able to use them freely. You don't have to buy them. That's another thing I like about most games with DLC. They give you items that you can get naturally. So, anyway, you don't have to buy that stuff. Okay, so let's, uh... There we go. See? It's poison effect. There's another ninja. Oh, I guess I do have another action for this guy. So, boom! Take him out. He's poisoned. Okay, so see, I'm gonna be able to line up three rocks here. When you line up three obstacles, you get a whole bunch of action points, and that number six that popped up, that's a guaranteed six continuous green pixels. Now, that's kind of helpful to know when you have multiple colors of pixels that you have to use, so you know like how to plan ahead, basically. So like, I know that the next six things I get are gonna be green pixels. So anyway, this is kind of a cool little trivia-like thing. Let's see, boom, boom, boom. Uh... Oh, now it gives me this. Okay. Wave defeated. There we go. He got poisoned to death. I'm kind of messing up on the placement of my guys again, but that's okay. Let's see what this guy does. Boulder toss. One and a half damage. Sometimes I and I kind of mess. Oh my god, I really messed up already again. There we go. Whatever. There we go. He's a ninja. Oh, shit. Okay. Messed up already. Again. Void. Uh, can I avoid a person? Because that would be kind of funny. Void that guy. There we go. Made a strong assassin guy. We're going to attack and poison this guy. We're almost full on action points, so might as well start you know, doing some stuff that's going to be helpful. Boom. Ninja in the corner. And there we go. Ten consecutive things. Look, he's poisoned. He's just... Oh dear. Damn it. I'm just, okay. Boom, ninja. Let's get him, let's, let's poison him again. There we go. I'm gonna start playing, play some blocks. He's probably gonna take poison damage to death. And there we go, victory. Three stars again, all the way around. No stock items awarded, but that's okay. This final, it's not the final level, but this is the final level I'll, I'll include in this video, just to kind of show you guys. Level four is kind of a puzzle stage. And uh, basically, puzzle stages, you know, want you to complete the puzzle, eliminate everyone, every, everything on the screen, and it gives you as many chances as you like. So, look at Megapixel. What does a Megapixel do? Does that, you know, like? Oh wait, I no. So I'm out of spaces. Okay, so I reset. Boom. Make the green. Put a Megapixel here. Get a ninja. Put a Megapixel here. Get an assassin. Put a megapixel here, get, I guess, a robot. Put one here and eliminate everything. So there we go, victory, that's the puzzle stage. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, that's Pixel Defender's puzzle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This is a quick play. Be sure to like the video if you want me to keep playing more of this. Uh, otherwise, give some uh, suggestions in the comments below as to other games that I should quick play, whether whatever system they're for, PC, Xbox, Wii U, PS3, iOS, anything. I'll play it. See you guys next time. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you want to support this channel and help it grow, all you got to do is click the like button. Come back next time for more. And until then, check out some of these videos.